Hi, my name is Ewan McAndrew and today I'm going to show you how to edit Wikipedia quickly and simply using Wikipedia's brand new visual editor interface. So the first thing you need to do is go to Wikipedia's front page. I'm on it just now. So if you Google Wikipedia, go to the front page and then next thing you need to do is create an account. Create accounts in the top right of the the screen if you just click on create account it'll take you to this page my username is already in there so you just need a password and a username so anything you like can be related to your own name it can be completely different so input your username input your password confirm your password put in your email address and some capture codes down the bottom and click create your account. Once you've done that, your screen will look more or less like mine, except where my name at the top says Stinglehammer, your link will be red uh, because it's not yet created the user page for that account any page that is red linked means that page doesn't exist so I'm actually gonna log into a slightly different account but you should only have one account this is my account for training purposes so when next thing you need to do is enable visual editor by clicking on preferences and editing so in preferences click on editing make sure this tick box temporarily disable the visual editor while it is in beta make sure that's unticked if it's unticked you're fine and this drop down needs to show show me both editor tabs so just click on that and take the bottom option show me both editor tabs because we want to enable visual editor then click save in the bottom left corner now we've set up the visual editor to work the brand new editor interface that's making life a lot easier for Wikipedia editors now now that you've done that you can click on your username now this is my user page your user page won't have been created yet so to create your user page you now need to click on the first bullet point on your screen it says start the user page and so click on that first bullet point and it's now asking you to create your first user page if you've got that on your screen all I want you to do is type this little bit of code two squiggly brackets this is a new user and then two closing squiggly brackets you've got that in that main first box area go down to edit summary type added new user box anytime we make a change on Wikipedia we summarize that change so this is the summary of what we've just done we've added a new user box click save page in the bottom left now it's added this box and you should see that your username at the top has turned from red to blue and you've created a user page now you've got two types of editor the edit and edit source editor edit source is the old-fashioned editor that we just used to put that little bit of code in to create that box the second kind edit is a visual editor and we're going to use that from now on First thing though, we're going to use the edit source just for one option. Uh, copy and pasting is a lot easier in the old fashioned editor. So I'm going to copy some text that I've already prepared earlier into this. Pasted it into that main box area below the new user section. And then 
in the edit summary again summarizing what I've just done added uh, some text to my user page click save okay now I've got a box and lots of text but it's unformatted so what I'm going to do is going to now for the first time click into the visual editor now we have a menu bar which is a lot like using WordPress blogging or Microsoft Word it's a lot more menu driven so first thing we need to have on Wikipedia is some headings so just highlight the text use the first drop down select heading so I've created a heading from my username and I can create a few more just to split up the text highlight the text click on the drop down my example list heading things I like drop down heading my example link heading my example citation oops mistake so to change it back highlight change to paragraph like so and one more for references there so I've got references my example citation my example link things I like my example list about me the username you can put anything in the user page it's just about who you are and what you're interested in so I'm going to click save page and again summarizing the changes I've just made added headings there now it looks a lot more like a Wikipedia page everything's split into sections and I have a contents box and a contents box is automatically created when you have more than three headings which I do I've got seven so now I want to add a bit of bold so I'm going to hit edit to go in the visual edit again change my username into bold using this drop down a lot more options there bold and I can change Wikimedia in residence to italic so if you've changed something to bold and italics you can click save page add in bold and italics save so headings done bold and italics done now let's put some lists in we've got a couple of lists here my example list so I'm going to create some lists go into uh, visual editor go down to my list section make it look more like a list highlight the text use the structure drop down bullet and now it's bullet points and I can do the same for my qualifications here I'm going to use numbered list there so numbered list and bullet points happy with those changes added bullet points Okay, now Wikipedia needs links. Everything on Wikipedia should link from something and to something. So I'm going to click into editor. But we don't want to link everything, just th something that's going to help the reader and their comprehension on the subject. So University of Edinburgh knows, we know has a page, so I'm going to use the link symbol to link to it. And the link menu's got two options. You can use search pages to search through Wikipedia's pages, or you can input a link to a website outside of Wikipedia. But I'm going to use this to find all the links that are on Wikipedia that will help the reader to click through to things they may be interested in. So notable places. universities and no 
capable authors. So once you've added a few links, and you're happy that they're not red links, they've they're blue clickable links that people can click through to, then we can save that page, added links. So links, bold, bullet points, headings. Now let's put in a picture to help illustrate our page. And a picture on Wikipedia means it's more likely the article will be clicked upon. So for editor, go into the visual editor again. This time we're going to use the insert drop down to insert media. And this will search through 31 million images on Wikimedia Commons, which are free for us to reuse. So I'm going to put in something simple, keyword search. Edinburgh Castle. See if we can't find, there we go. A range of choices from Wikimedia Commons on Edinburgh Castle, but you could do a keyword search on anything. Click into one I'd like the look of. Check the license on it. CC BYSA, that's fine. CC BY is fine. And public domain is fine, but I'm happy with that one. Click use this image, add a caption. Go to advanced settings, add a frame. Put it in the left hand side. No, let's go with the right hand side. Insert. Oh, way too big. Let's change the size. Thumbnail. Oh, why change? It's great. Oh, that's too small for my purposes. So I'm going to just drag the bottom left corner. Now I'm happy with it. I can click Save Page, Added Image. image headings bold bullet points uh, we need we've got a section on citations but no citations and no references so I'm going to bring up a new tab at the top and let's find a citation uh, go to the Guardian but it could be anything with a reliable reputation uh, so it's a rely any reliable source that uh, where it has a reputation for fact checking, so no internet blogs. Uh, so I'm going to use this article Women's Fight in the Second World War is Horrible and Wonderful, like a love affair from The Guardian about Rosanne Colchester. Copy the link from the top of the page. Go back to my own page, click Visual Editor, go down to where I want the citation to go. At the end of the line here, I read an interesting article about Bletchley code breaker Roseanne Colchester today. And put the cursor at the end of that line. Ideally, we would like the citation at the end of every line in Wikipedia. So the cursor is flashing away there. Use the drop down for cite. And we're going to use the first tab, Automatic, because it automatic one we can just put the URL the DOI or the PubMed ID in manual tab we can put in extra fields if we have extra information about title last name first name publisher but the automatic citation tool does this for us if we just provide it with the link so click generate it's found it and there we go insert and I can do that for a couple more. So I can put in the PubMed ID for this third one. 
because I know that it, it is eight ones. So that's the PubMed ID. Oh, there we go. Epidemiology there. So you can type in the PubMed ID if you know it, or you can copy and paste DOI if you know it. So save page, added citations. There we go. It's created two references automatically by me using the citations, and I could reuse those citations again and again if I wanted. Uh, just by cl clicking on the citation tool and the reuse tab so we've already got two categories in but i've put them in already but we could do some more edit go to this three horizontal line drop down and click on categories every page on wikipedia should fit into a certain category so it'll make it easy to find so I'm a Wikipedian, I'm a Wikipedian Scotland, so my username page should fit into those categories. I'm also a Wikipedian from Edinburgh. Ah, no, it's not found that one because I've not spelled it right, so to get rid of it, I can hit the trash can and try a different spelling. Wikipedians with an S on the end. I had to find that. Great. So I'm happy with that. Apply changes, save page, added categories. Okay. So links, bullet points, headings, references, categories. And we also need to create a talk page. You will need to create your one by going in and typing something like this in the edit source section. Hi, this is my talk page. Please feel free to drop mine, leave a message sometime. And anytime you leave a message on a talk page, you must sign your name by putting in four tilde symbols. You can type that out yourself, or you can press the button there. As the four tilde symbols are there, that will create your username and date stamp anything on a talk page. So, added welcome to my talk page. Click save. That should create a talk page for you with a little sentence Hi, this is my talk page. Please feel free to drop by and leave a message sometime. There's my username. There's the date stamp. Great. So, talk page done. And the talk page is where people will come and visit you and talk to you um, about any pages that they're working on or you're working on. So go back to user page. Really, we've got everything there that we need to. But if we wanted to create an article, we could create it in our sandbox. And all you do is click on the sandbox it'll take you into this sort of window and you could just draft an article on anyone you liked uh, like we created one recently for our IPP Gardener Proudfoot we would start it off in the sandbox and page on IP Gardener Proudfoot And you can create your article just the same way that you did for your user page. I'll show you one I created earlier. Here's one. And it's quite similar to my user page. Except I have the name, full name in bold, birth date, date of death notable roles, the context of when and where, and why this person is significant. Always have that in the first one to two lines. 
we can include an information box with summary information, content section, headings, citations, more citations, links to other pages, quote with citation, another section on career, more clickable links, notable works, bullet points, quote indented, other section, later life and death. Now, a lot of the material in your articles will depend on the sources that you're working from and they'll help you decide how to structure your piece. You can also have a see also section, a link to another page on Wikipedia and external links that are linked to pages outside of Wikipedia. But keep the see also and external links to a minimum, no more than about three to five I would say. References, as we said, we need at least three as a minimum and at least 250 words before you're moving your information across from the sandbox to Wikipedia's live space. And categories, if you're not sure what categories your page should fit into, look up a similar page. And that's a good idea just generally to, when you're creating a page, look at a similar page to give yourself an idea of how that page should be formed. When you're ready, to copy your page across to the main space, do a search, but type it in exactly as you want the title of the page to appear. And just check that no page exists for it already. So there's no page for Edward Bozudski because it's a red clickable link, page does not exist. Click on it. And then you can copy and paste from your sandbox and just paste it into the new Edward Bozodsky page or whatever page you're working on. And then click down here, created new page about Edward Bozodsky. So once you've copied across 250 words and your three references and all your formatting, hit save page and that's a brand new page created. And re remember that create source is the old source editor and create is the new visual editor in the same way that when you go to visual editor, you have edit and edit source, edit for visual editor, source for source editor. And if you're copying from the sandbox, copy from the source editor much easier to copy from here. Control C and then Edward Bozowski. Remember to put the article title in exactly as you want it to appear. Click on the link and then paste something like Edward Bozudski and then you'd have their notable dates in, notable roles, context of where and when and the rest of the article after that, bullet points, sections, clickable links, citations, references and categories and an image importantly, created page and that's it you ever get stuck you can go back to Wikipedia the front page and go down to the help desk section and you can leave a message on the help desk asking for help with your article just remember to leave the four tilde symbols to generate your username and someone will get back to you and that's it happy editing bye